everyone, so today I'm here with Hamish Nicholas I'll link his channel down below if you want to go check out his videos and stuff So today I have dragged him into this video with me Well not really dragged Dragged, so I'm kind of hanging out to do this yeah. <laughs> Today we're doing like a taste testing unboxing video And everything we're trying today is chocolate And I got sent these boxes a while ago from Choco Curve And like I knew I was going to film this today And I've been like craving chocolate all day <laughs> So basically what Choco Curve is Is a monthly subscription Description. They ship globally, so it's perfect for those of you out there who love chocolate It's a good way to try new types of chocolate because they get their chocolate from all around the world So I'm really excited to see what's inside here Also, you can give these as gifts as well and Choco Curb has sorted us all out with a little bit of a giveaway So stay tuned until the very end of the video if you want to go into win a little box for yourself So while you're watching this if this sounds like something that you might like or like one of your friends or family members might like I'll put a link to the website down below so you can check it out and find out some more information so I'm getting the big box, am I? <laughs> no. Why not? You can choose from like a big box or like a mini box. Let's start with this one. So it comes packaged like this. It's a really nice box. And we have a little card thing and a bunch of chocolate inside. So we're just going to have like a bite of each, I guess. Because otherwise we'll nice. probably gain 12 kilos in one day. It's right. kind of flash. It really does. Flash. It looks really fancy. Ooh. Get your face out. <laughs> Wait, it's all inverted. Everything's inverted. So this is what the packaging looks like. This is called the Armadi Tuscany Toscano Blonde. Just put it up to the camera. Yeah. I, <laughs> I can't read that. Is it dark chocolate or is it? It says it's cocoa with peaches and apricots. That sounds really good. Okay, let's try it. Can you open it with your acrylics or not? Yeah, I can. Oh, I tore it. It's good to go. Are you going the whole? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, it tastes like it's got a little bits of like biscuit in it or something. Yeah, it's quite crunchy, yeah. It's so good. Mm, it's not bad actually, it's quite good. I'm saving this. <laughs> what do you mean you're saving it? I thought you said you're only going to have a bite of each. Yeah, well, I'm not going to waste it. Sea salt hazelnut crunch. That sounds amazing. Get your head behind it. <laughs> Can you read that? Oh my gosh, there you go, hold on. Get your face out of it. I am out of it. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Here we go. You got it. Got it. Done. It sounded so good. Sea salt. Yeah, this sounds amazing. Ready? You got a good one. Super salty. Mmm. Mm. It's kind of moussey. Don't look at the calories. Salty, moussey, and it's like not bitter, but it's not like overly sweet. It's quite nice. Mm. It's made in Portland, Oregon. Is that how you say that? Or Oregon? That's how you say it now. This is the last thing that's in the mini box, and this is called Woodblock Chocolate Cacao Cane Sugar Toasted Sesame Seeds. I think this is dark as well. Another dark chocolate one. Yeah, it's like super dark. It's really like, dark. Really mm. dark. If you like real dark chocolate, you'll like that. Mm -hmm. Next up, we've got the bigger box of Choco Curve, which we're going to have a look into now. This is what's in this one. I think this is like a sticker. Thank you. <laughs> so here's a little peek into this one. I want to try this one first. This one's pretty. Look. This is Oregon Hazelnut Toffee Himalayan Pink Salt. And it says on the back it's custom packaged for Choco Curve. You open it like the Look, hardest way. The hardest way possible, ripped into it. I'll just have a little What's one. toffee? What do you mean what's toffee? Well, is it like caramel? I don't really know. Yeah, kind of. This is how it looks. It looks quite good. Really? Oh, that's so weird. Hard caramel, pokey pokey, mm. salt, chocolate, all at once. I reckon that's real good. I like it. It's just so strange. I've never had anything like it. We don't really have this in New Zealand. No, nah, it says it's gluten free. It's gluten free. That means it's healthy. <laughs> Enjoying that? Yeah. Okay guys, I'm not even gonna try and say this. We're just gonna put it up. Can you read it though? It's focused on oh your face. <laughs> no, it's focused on my face. <laughs> Get behind it. Oh god, everything's inverted. I'm gonna attempt to Oh, you're gonna attempt to say it. it. This could get interesting. Rosa Folgari mm -hmm. Kozolad. Mm-hmm. There you go. Oh look, it won chocolate bronze winner for 2013. It's got 77% cocoa. You might not like it does so it much. It says olives and bread. It does. It says olives and bread and dark chocolate. I'm kind of interested now. I love the paper. It's really cute paper. <laughs> look how cool it is. Look how it snaps apart. Olives and bread and dark chocolate. Olives, bread and dark chocolate, and there we go. Tastes good, but I can't taste okay. olives. I was just gonna say that. Maybe it's not olives. Or the bread. I really like that. Are you enjoying it? I'm enjoying doing this video. Next up, we have Rococo Chocolate Spice Island. Ready, yeah. Do you wanna just go yeah, halves? Yeah, just go halves in that bit. Ready, set, go. go. This is weird. It's very weird. It tastes like um, spices. It tastes Cinnam like not cinnamon, but. Yeah, it does, yeah. Cinnamon? Something like that. There we go, cardamom, cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves. 
The aftertaste tastes really nice. Next up, Dol Dolcella. I'm camera. so bad. Put it up to the I'm camera. actually the worst at pronouncing foreign words. This is milk pretzel flavor. That's how it's spelled. Is it milk oh, chocolate? it's milk chocolate this time. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Look how big the pieces are. It's messy. Go. Maybe I'll have half. Do you want half of that? Nah, just go for it. Go all out. Pretzels aren't really like a massive thing in New Zealand. Yeah, this one's good. It's like kind of salty and... Biscuity. Biscuity and salty. Yeah, it's really good. This one's good. <laughs> no, come here. <laughs> right. Oh, there it goes. And lastly, we have the Menacal Madagascar Chocolate. Don't you dare. <laughs> hazelnut, fudgy and smooth. Say the word under hazelnuts. Eclipse to no sets. That's right. That's right. This one sounds like, to be honest, the best one. Fudgy and ever. smooth milk chocolate, forty-four percent sweet. I like. I, I like, like that it. word, fudgy. Mhm. Mm That's my favorite. I don't know if it's my favorite because heaps of those were really nice, but no, that one's my favorite. It's good. It's not too sweet either because that's like my thing with chocolate. Sometimes I get over it really fast because it's just too much sweetness at once. Like it's too intense, eh? This is sweet, but it's not like fake sugary intense sweet. It's really nice. I think mean, it's because it's got the hazelnut in it. It kind of balances the flavor. So now if you are craving chocolate after watching us just like gouge our faces with 10 pounds of it, Choco Curve is actually doing an exclusive giveaway for 10 mini boxes. All you have to do is find the Choco Curb contest link in the down bar. I'll list it down there so you can find it easily. And then all you have to do is just visit them or follow them on their social media, like their Facebook or Twitter or something like that. I'll list a whole lot of their social media links down below. So good luck to any of you who decide to enter. And if you do try it out, make sure you let me know and let me know what you think of it. If you enjoyed this video, please thumbs up. I'll link Hamish down below as well if you want to go follow him. And yeah, we will talk to you soon. Bye! So, yeah. so I hope you guys did enjoy that video, please thumbs up if you did, and here are two more videos for you guys to watch, you can click the screen or the links down below, the one on the left is a first impression comparison with the new HD foundation by Makeup Forever, and the other one is a bright summer orange lip look with fake freckles, I hope you like them.